Hello everyone, uh, today we'll be solving problem 28, implement string string. So it has a lot of likes, but it has a lot of dislikes, but I think it's a really good problem to know before you interview. Let's give it a thumbs up. So let's read the problem statement. So implement string string function, return the index of the first occurrence of a needle of a haystack or minus one if needle is not a part of a haystack. So clarification, what should we return when needles an empty string? This is a great question to ask during the interview. Anyway, so what we're trying to do is uh, implement the index of function in JavaScript. Let's look at the example. So we have example hello and needle ll. So haystack will be hello needle ll. So uh, return number two, which is the index where, you know, the index matching. And then let's say aaa and the needle bb. Eight. So there is no pattern in this uh, in this string. So we return minus one. And if it's empty, both empty, we return zero. So how can we do it? So there are several approaches. So the one that we will be using is a naive approach today. And then in our, another one is KMP is this algorithm called uh, Morris Pratt something algorithm. But today we'll just do in the naive approach. So how are we going to do it? We're going to loop over the string and then we say, OK, so here's the string. Hello. And this is LL. So we say, okay, is H equal to L? No, we're going to advance. Is E equal to L? No, we're going to advance. If is L equal to L? Yes. Then we're going to check is L equal to L? Yes. And if we hit the base case, we exit out. So let's see how to do it in the code. So first we're going to check basic condition if a string is empty. So we say if needle dot uh, length is uh, length is equal to zero will return zero, we return zero. And then we say, uh, create a regular for loop for let i equals zero, zero, um, i is less than a stack dot length, i plus plus, so regular for loop. And then what are we gonna say? So then we're gonna create the k variable will equal to i and I'll explain why in a second j equal to zero. So k equal to i is is that variable that if we hear on the l and then we match, you know, another l and then let's say another let's say let's say okay, let's say we have this pattern, right? And then our needle for example is llb and we have this uh, this pattern ll be here. So what are we going to do? We're going to start, you know, looping. And when we hit L, we're going to confir confirm L equal to L. No. And J is like the beginning index of the needle um, array. I mean, in, in a string. So say LL is the same, then LL is the same. And then O is different than B. And then if we say I is not equal to K, we need to keep the variable. So we start on, from L as well. If not, then we advance the I and we start from this L. So that's why we keep in K equal to um, I. And then we create while loop. And then we say while what? While the haystack, right? While the haystack of uh, K. So the haystack of K. So this L is equal to. Uh, sorry, I lost my haystack. Okay, so if the haystack K is equal to needle J needle j, what are we going to do? And actually, we have to say and needle dot length. And then if we did not exceed uh, length of needle, what are we going to do? We're going to advance k. And then we're going to advance j. And that's why, you know, we set k equal to i. Otherwise, if we advance i, we would, you know, not start from, uh, you know, where we mismatch, we're gonna, you know, we have to backtrack back. Okay, and then what we're gonna say, we say if needle that length, if the length of the needle uh, is equal to j, so basically, if we traverse through end of needle string, we will return. And what we're gonna return, we're gonna return i, so that element that we are on you know, where we started. And as well, if we didn't do like that, we will return, you know, the end of it, not the beginning of it. Okay. And then if we didn't meet any of the criteria, we return minus one. Okay, let's submit and see how we've done here. Let's submit. Okay, loading a little bit.
Okay, and then um, we solve it. So we get five in speed and 22 in memory usage. So this is how you solve number 28, imp implement index off using the JavaScript. Let me know what do you think down comments below, and then we'll um, do KMP algorithm later in the course. Thank you so much. Have a good one.